This video will show how to determine the five number summary as well as the outliers using the T84. And then we'll also create a box plot or box and whisker plot using the T84. Notice how we are given data about the number of text messages per day. Even though it's not required when using the T84, I do recommend to order the data from least to greatest as I've shown here on the right. For the next step, let's talk about the methods the T84 uses to determine quartile one, quartile three, and the outliers, because there are different methods for determining these values. To find quartile one and quartile three, the calculator uses the Moore and McCabe method, where quartile one is the median of the lower half of the data, not including the median, and quartile three is the median of the upper half of the data, again, not including the median. And then to find the outliers, the outliers are the values that are less than quartile one minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, or greater than quartile three plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. And this is Tucky's method. So going back to our problem, the first step is to enter the data into the T84, either from the table or in order from least to greatest. To do this, we press stat and then enter. We will enter the data in L1. If you have any old data in L1, you can go to the top of the column, press clear, and then enter. It will clear the entire column. And now we enter the data. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. Press the stat button. Right arrow to calculate. We want to select one var stats, which is already highlighted, so we press enter. From this screen, you need to verify the data is in L1, which it is. We press enter. We are not using a frequency list. We press enter. We press enter on calculate. From this screen, we can determine the five number summary by scrolling down. And now we can see the five number summary, which is the minimum quartile one, the median, quartile three, and the maximum. Let's go ahead and record this. Next, we're asked to find the range and the interquartile range, where the range is the maximum minus the minimum, and the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. The T84 will not give us these values. We need to compute them. So again, the range is the maximum minus the minimum, which is 65 minus 18, which is 47. The interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 34 minus 24, which is equal to 10. And now we're left to find the outliers and create a box plot, which we will do on the T84. Going back to the calculator, we first need to set up the window so that the x-axis will show the values from 18 to 65. So let's go ahead and press the window button. And we need the x values to go from at least 18 to 65. Let's go from 10 to 75. So the x min is 10, enter. The x max 75, enter. The scale on the x-axis, let's go by fives, enter. And for the y min and y max, let's just use negative four and positive four by ones, which is already shown. And now from here, we want to press second y equals for stat plot. With the cursor on one, press enter. We want to turn plot one on, so we highlight on and press enter. And now to make sure the box plot shows the outliers, we want to select this option here. So we arrow down and then go right one, two, three times to this option here, press enter. The next step is to make sure the X list is L1, which it is, and then we press graph. And now we have our box plot. Any points to the left or right of the whiskers represent outliers. So this data has one outlier over here on the right. To determine the values to create the box plot and to determine the outliers, we press trace, Notice the value on the left is 18, the minimum. We press the right arrow, quartile one is 24. Press the right arrow again, the median is 27. Right arrow again, quartile three is 34. Right arrow again, 
Notice how we have x equals 41. Notice how that's not the maximum because we have an outlier. So this whisker actually stops at this value here of 41, and we make a point on the outlier of 65. Pressing the right arrow one more time, we can see that the outlier represented by this point here is 65. So let's go ahead and record the outlier and create our box plot. So again, the outlier is 65, and now we create the box plot. Let's first plot the median of 27, which is approximately here. Then we'll plot Q1 and Q3. Q1 is 24, Q3 is 34. Let's go ahead and create the box. Put a line through the median. And now let's go ahead and plot the minimum and maximum values. So the minimum is 18, which is approximately here. The maximum is 65. But because the maximum of 65 is an outlier, we do not draw the whisker out to 65. We actually make a point at 41, which would be here, for the whisker on the right. And the whisker on the left goes all the way out to the minimum of 18, because 18 is not an outlier. And this would be our box and whisker plot for the given data, including the outlier. Sometimes you will see a small vertical segment here and here at the end of the whiskers. I hope you found this helpful.